If you hold any Bitcoin, you'll know that moving it around can be expensive and nobody really uses it to pay for day-to-day -day transactions. But if you didn't already know, the Bitcoin Lightning Network is a payment protocol built on Bitcoin to address this problem, allowing cheap, instant payments. To use it, you'll most likely need a separate wallet that supports Lightning and allows you to on and off ramp your funds onto the Lightning Network from the Bitcoin mainnet. So in today's video, we'll be taking a look at five of the most popular Bitcoin Lightning wallets out there. First on our list is Moon Wallet, a self-custodial wallet available on iOS and Android. You can receive and send Bitcoin with your Moon Wallet through Lightning Network invoices or Bitcoin addresses. Moon is unique in terms of how you custody your Bitcoin. As a security feature, the wallet is a two of two multi-signature wallet, which means two keys are required to make payments. One of them is stored locally on your phone and the other is with Moon, who will co-sign your day-to-day -day transactions. This keeps your funds safe, even if your device and private key were to be compromised somehow. However, should you want to, you're able to take full custody of your assets with their emergency kit combined with your recovery code. You can read more about that on their blog posts. When it comes to transaction fees, Moon's mempool-based estimator helps you to pay more efficient fees, meaning not over or underpaying fees depending on things like network congestion. Moon uses something called submarine swaps to let you make payments through a third party. Now this is useful for paying someone you don't have a direct channel with, which saves you the hassle of managing more channels. Phoenix Wallet is another self-custodial wallet that is available on iOS and Android. And just like Moon Wallet, Bitcoin can be sent and received using Lightning Network invoices or Bitcoin addresses. It was developed and released by Async, which is one of the leading teams contributing to the Lightning Network's development. The Phoenix wallet runs natively on Lightning and is actually a full-fledged Lightning node under the hood. But as the end user, all you need to think about is enjoying faster and cheaper transactions. Phoenix features on-the-fly channel creation, which means you can increase your liquidity without any hassle. To put it simply, your wallet has an inbound liquidity capacity and every time you exceed this, you need to pay mining fees. Rather than paying these fees every time, you can increase the size of your wallet's capacity in one transaction ahead of time. This is especially useful if you know you will be receiving funds more than you spend. Next up is Breeze, a self-custodial open source mobile wallet on iOS and Android. And it is also a hot wallet that needs to be backed up to cloud storage like Google Drive, iCloud, or a remote server. You can deposit or send Bitcoin with a Breeze wallet through both Lightning Network invoices and Bitcoin addresses. The Breeze app runs a full Lightning node, making each user's device a node of its own. But don't worry, Breeze takes care of everything from on-chain transactions to inbound liquidity, which includes creating channels when there isn't enough capacity for a fee. That way, you don't need to configure the details every time and can just focus on managing your funds. More advanced users can actually interact with the underlying Lying Lightning node by accessing the developer's screen. Breeze also has some other fun features like a podcast player for you to not only listen to your favorite podcast, but also stream payments while listening and send tips. You can set the amount of sats you want to send to creators or choose to listen for free. There's also a background watcher that helps you to control your channels and retrieve your money in the event of any cheating attempts. The refund period is 720 blocks, which means this will keep you protected just by using your phone as little as once every five days. For those who are also running their own business, Breeze can act as a point of sale to accept Lightning payments. Merchants can tailor the interface to manage passwords, have a fiat display, and export transaction information. If you are looking for a simple wallet experience, then Wallet of Satoshi is probably your best bet. As a custodial mobile wallet on iOS and 
Android. They store the Bitcoin for you and take care of opening payment channels. Even setting up your wallet is about as straightforward as it gets. There is no account creation or KYC requirements. Instead, your device will act as your username and give you access as long as you have the app and your phone. If you prefer to have a backup of your wallet, you can connect your email address to your wallet of Satoshi. In case you ever lose access to your phone, you can use your email address to recover your balance and history. With the app, you can also find merchants in your area that accept Lightning payments. And once you've ordered from them, simply scan their QR code to confirm payment. While you can pay Lightning invoices or send directly to a Bitcoin address, one unique feature of Wallet of Satoshi is the top-up option. It allows you to send Bitcoin from an exchange or buy it directly within the app. Right now, buying Bitcoin in the app is available in over 160 countries. The last wallet on our list is Electrum, a self-custodial wallet that is available on Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and Android OS. Electrum has been in the space since 2011, but only began to support Lightning Network payments in 2020. To start transacting on the Lightning Network is a bit more complicated. First, you will need to already have on-chain Bitcoin, which you can deposit from an exchange or Bitcoin address. After that, you will need to create a Lightning channel that lets you send Bitcoin. With Electrum, you can create watch-only wallets to keep track of transactions. This gives extra security because your private keys are kept offline. To spend your Bitcoin safely, you can use multi-signature wallets to distribute the permission between several wallets. You can also connect your Ledger, Trezor, and KeepKey hardware wallets. Electrum also supports third-party plugins to encourage new features without having to increase its core code. And this can be a convenient option for power users looking to customize their wallet. For example, you can use Label Sync to synchronize and manage your wallets across multiple devices through a remote server. Well, that wraps up today's video on some of the more popular Bitcoin Lightning wallets out there. Let us know in the comments below if you're using any of these wallets and if you have any tips to share. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to stay updated on all things crypto. Bye.